What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Toronto Tuners video. In today's episode, we're going to the track. Alright guys, so I'm just loading up the car with uh, everything we're going to need for today uh, to make it a bit more comfortable. We got a tent in there. Uh, I'm going to start loading up more chairs, a couple of jack stands, you never know what could go wrong. I don't want to bring my heavy uh, two-ton lift. This thing, uh, it's going to take up too much space and is way too heavy. I'm pretty sure Jason, my buddy, is going to have a smaller uh, hand lift, so that should just uh, get the job done in case we ever have to lift my, lift my car up off the ground. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish uh, loading up these chairs and then we should be good to go. Don't wanna forget the, the toolbox. <sighs> Definitely gonna need that. So I pulled up to Jason's house not too long ago and if you don't know, Jason actually has his own uh, company called uh, Rochester's House of Boost. He's, he's formerly known as House of Boost now. He used to do turbo rebuilding but he stopped doing that and now he actually has his own lineup of turbos. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to his website in the description below so you can guys go check out what he has. I really recommend his stuff. He really knows uh, what he's doing. He's always been into this, into turbos and racing ever since high school. We went to high school together. Be sure to check him out actually, if you guys notice, he has his time attack car right over there. Let's go check that out. So this is Jason's former Saab 9.3 converted race car. You guys will get to see what's under the hood when we get to the track. Well, there's sneak peek. Everything is just done by Jason. All custom work. This thing is crazy, man. And he has videos of uh, taking it out to the track. Just purpose-built race car. Yeah, that shit is wild. We just finished putting the trailer back together and we're loading up the U-Haul. So we will, uh, I'll update you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we got the truck loaded up and I will set you guys down and so you guys can see us loading Jason's car up onto the trailer. All right guys, Jason's gonna start his car up and bring it over. Get it loaded up onto the trailer. Didn't keep spinning. <laughs> Pull the wheel. All right, guys. So Jason's race car is all loaded up, ready to go. I'm gonna go pick up Mike and my girlfriend and his girlfriend, and we'll see you in a bit. We got Jason's car loaded up. We're ready to go. We're headed to the track, and uh, we'll see you when we get there.
we need you to help. Hold, hold one side. All right, guys, we just arrived at the track. In my car set up, we just got all the tents set up. Mike's doing all of his photography. Hit him up, Mike, Mike helping photography. Hell yeah, you need anything. Race car shots, everything. Jason's over here. So here's the fucking engine. Fucking Sab 9.3. Fucking stock crank, stock pistons, fucking 700 wheel. Don't even know how it's still running. Like get on my stock motor. <laughs> <laughs> Splitter is ridiculous. Got the RHB engraved in there. Spage Sport, hit him up. He'll be here soon. He'll be here soon, yeah. That yeah, shit's wild, man. It's like half the shit I just built yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Literally built in a day. Got some other guys over here. Not too many. Nice, tomorrow. nice quiet day. Yeah, we'll probably go see what what they're up to in a bit. Already one wreck way down there. Don't know what happened. Car wasn't moving, so blew his cams. Probably blew his engine, but you know, <laughs> typ typical Cayuga stuff. At least the truck was out there quick. Yeah, that's surprising. The truck actually, the guy hopped in his truck and actually went out there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish getting my car set up, and then uh, we'll get some in-cam footage of me on the track. Jason's fucking sad. Look at this thing. All right, guys, going out for the first uh, first uh, lap of the day. Just get the car warmed up, get a feel for everything. Surprisingly, it's still there. 
<laughs> that one time when we launched it, fell oh, right yeah, off the bed. Launching it is gonna fucking. Ah uh, yes, the smell of clutch. <laughs>